One evening in one of the covered villages, in one of the bars in Kanoha, one of the three great sanins was drinking, Tsunade Senju, who was trying to forget herself. After all, in the past she lost all the people close to her, but at the moment when she wanted to order five bottles of sake, Minato comes into the bar after a hard day. When he noticed Tsunade, he came up and greeted, Hello Tsunade-san, about Minato told Tsunade to sit down, Minato sat down and started drinking in a place with her. After ten bottles of sake, Tsunade could no longer stand, Minato decided to help her get home, after they went home and Minato put Tsunade on the bed, but at the moment when Minato put Tsunade on the bed, she woke up, she kissed him intoxicated and began to undress him. Two months have passed since that evening, Tsunade found out that she was pregnant and started dating Minato, but they didn't tell anyone except a couple of people, three Hokage Hiruzen Sarutobi, Jiraiya, and Shizun. They congratulated them and wished them good luck and happiness. After seven months, it was time to give birth, Tsunade was put in the ward, and Tsunade's student Shizun took delivery, only three hours later Tsunade was able to give birth. Shizun took the boy in her arms, removed the umbilical cord and wrapped it in a tent, Minato wanted to take his son, but Shizun did not give it, saying the first mother and gave it to Tsunade, they decided to name their child Naruto, he looked so blandish hair, his mother's facial features and Korea's eyes, and the skin is slightly paler than mom's. Minato said, when he goes to the academy, girls will run after him in droves. In the thoughts of Tsunade I won't let him be stolen from me, and I won't let the Furies get their claws into him. And she began to drive away all the girls from him, let's give him to me, Shizun told you to rest, and took Naruto in her arms, Tsunade was very worried about him, she said that no one but you would not take you in the feed. Shizun took Naruto to the maternity ward, but before that Shizun gave Tsunade so that she would recover, Tsunade fell asleep, and meanwhile three Hokage and Jiraiya were standing in the corridor and waiting for them, Minato came out and said that he had a son, the third and Jiraiya congratulated him and were happy for them. Jiraiya offered to celebrate, Minato agreed, as soon as they wanted to go, far from Kanoha, a loud roar of a devotech tale was heard. They were all horrified and quickly moved to the Kanoha gate. When they arrived, they saw that from Kanoha at a distance of 10 kilometers there was a Dividevasti or Kubai no Yeko, take care of the defense, I and other shinobi will detain him, Minato said, the third and Jiraiya answered well. Minato and the others went to Dividevastam, when the fox raised his paw, a huge toad landed on him. After 30 minutes, Minato decided to seal the fox, and disappeared in yellow lightning, when he came back he had a baby in his arms, it was Naruto. Minato folded the seals, and an altar appeared in front of him, he put Naruto and folded a couple dozen seals after that, Shinigami appeared behind him. You know the fee for my call, Minato nodded in response, Shinigami took Tonto in his hand and placed his stomach, when the fox noticed the altar, he raised his paw so as not to be baked, as soon as he tried to kill, he was immediately pulled into the seal on Naruto's stomach, and the same minute Minato's dead body is already lying on the ground, and after ten minutes, Hiruzen and Jiraiya arrived at the scene of the battle when they saw Minato's dead body, they were saddened to see him dead, they approached Naruto and saw the seal of the god of death and understood why Minato died. The next day was a mourning day where everyone lost their loved ones, after the funeral there was a council where the Hokage was chosen, and everyone decided that Hiruzen would return to his post, all except Danzo and the elders. Three days after the fox attack, Tsunade woke up, why did she sleep for so long, yes, because Shizun added medicine to her because of which she slept for so long and so that she would recover after giving birth. When she woke up, Hiruzen was sitting next to her with a corpse worth and reading a newspaper, when he noticed that Tsunade woke up, he immediately put the newspaper away, and he asked how you feel. Well, but I didn't get enough sleep, and yes, where is Naruchan? Tsunade asked in an anxious voice, don't be afraid Naruto is with Shizun now, 
Tsunade immediately got up and almost went to the door, Hiruzen threatened her, Tsunade I need to say, he said, but Tsunade didn't listen then Hiruzen called for a guarantee and said Minato was dead when the fox was found, he died when the fox was in Naruto. Then a wave of emotions such as anger, hatred, and worry for her son flooded on Tsunade. She ran out of the room in a hospital gown and ran two floors and came to the maternity hospital and saw Shizun with Naruto in her arms, Tsunade came up to her and took her son in her arms and began to take care of him so another one hour passed, and an hour later Shizun asked to give Naruto to her while she changed clothes when she changed to Tsunade I took Naruto in my arms and they went home. But at the exit from the hospital they were met by Jiraiya, hi, how do you feel after I found out what? Minato did, Jiraiya said, I hate him, he doomed Naruchan because he knew how Jinchuriki was treated, Tsunade said. Yes, I know, Jiraiya replied, Hiruzen said that the fourth sealed the fox and the child, but did not say his identity. Let's go, Sensei is waiting for us, what did Tsunade say for, let's go and you know after half a day of walking, they came to Minato Tsunade's house, although she went into the house and they went on, and Hiruzen was sitting in the living room on the sofa with a will in his hands. Take a seat, he said, everyone sat down Naruto was in his mother's arms, let's start, Hiruzen said in his will Minato said that he was giving Naruto all his inheritance, also a house, money in the amount of 100 billion ri, everything was awesome from the amount he left Naruto except Hiruzen all scrolls with techniques that he invented. As well he ordered that all your debts were paid because he knew which Tsunade was a gambling addict, this is about 275 million ri, but do not be afraid, said. Hiruzen, this will not affect her son's inheritance, he paid this amount from his deferred money, and the amount I said at the beginning was the amount of his parents who died five years ago. Do you want to know where they got such a sum from? So Minato's parents owned enterprises in the field of merchants where they had 40% influence and their faithful friend Toboku helped them with management, who is still following their case that we will not tell him yet that Minato has a son, Naruto will manage companies when he is 16 years old, and until Naruto turns 16, do not tell Toboku about his son. So here's another monthly payment of 150,000 ri for living on this, Hiruzen said everything, after Tsunade listened to her sensei, she decided to take a shower because she lay unconscious for four days, leaving Naruto with a chair and a chair, it was Jiraiya and Shizun, if anyone did not understand. After Tsunade took a bath, she talked, with Hiruzen, we will leave the village because they can find out that her son Jinchiriki and the attitude towards him will change because of the fox baked in him, and if they find out that he is not only Jinchiriki but also the heir of the Senja clan, then we want to come and steal him, and even worse, kill him. But let Tsunade go to the ninja academy when he turns eight, after ten minutes, under the pressure of sensei, Tsunade agreed, but until that time they will travel, and we will contact through Katsun, this is Tsunade's call and until then there is no one not to tell that she has a son, when we return then I am officially I will say that I have a son. Tomorrow morning we will leave the village, and while we spend the night here Shizun go to the store and buy something to eat for the evening, after eating in the evening they went to bed Naruto slept next to Tsunade to help him right away. I in the morning, after feeding Naruchan, Tsunade and Shizun applied henge, they went to the varrows of the village it was in the morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, there they met Jiraiya and Hiruzen. Having separated with them, he went on the road. After leaving the village, five days passed, they went east, there were no accidents on the way, they stopped in a small village where they rented a room where they stayed for a while. So one year has passed since their departure, flashback when Naruto started crawling it was closer to eight months, then we needed to keep an eye on it, when Tsunade and Shizun were distracted, then Naruto crawled away, and when they turned around he was no longer there and in the meantime he had already crawled onto the upper shelves and almost rightfully I crawled and he started to fall. When they saw this, they quickly rushed to him and barely managed to catch him, then Tsunade did not have a heart attack because she was so worried about her Naruchan, and then they decided to keep him in sight with one of them, the end of the flashback. 
Now Tsunade is feeding, and Naruto is smearing everything on the chair, Tsunade took it, oh, you little Chumazenki smeared everything on the chair and face, Naruto put his fingers in his mouth and made a funny little face, oh, he's cute like your father when he mows down. Shizen washed the chair and put it away said Tsunade, well answered Shizen. And Tsunade went to wash Naruchan, okay, since you don't want to eat with a spoon, Tsunade began to take off her clothes from the left side of her body and brought Naruto to her chest and he began to eat, and meanwhile Shizen tidied up and removed the chair, after which she sat down in an armchair and began to read the newspaper. They were passionate about their business, and at that moment Jiraiya climbed up to the window to say hello, then he saw Tsunade breastfeeding a small baby and at the same moment blood gushed out of his nose already so that he flew and crashed into the wall, Tsunade immediately covered her chest and stood in a rack, and Shizun immediately stood up and cooked the senbons, when they came to the place where the sound was heard, they saw Jiraiya, who said not if I saw them, this is a paradise that cannot be touched after that, Tsunade got angry because he did not enter through the door like everyone else, so he also peeked, then she gave Neruchan into Shizen's arms, and at that moment a thirst for murder began to feel from her, after which Jiraiya quickly came to his senses and began to pray to Tsunade that she would not be so cruel to, to him. But she did not listen to him and after a couple of minutes everyone was sitting at the table in silence, and Jiraiya's place of face was minced. Meet, and Jirai was the first to break the silence, he started crying, I established a connection with my spy network and they said that, some organization called Akatsuki consisting of stumblers of ES rank, all five hidden villages will be hunting for Jinchiriki, Tsunade was immediately worried because she knew what would happen if she got the tailed one out of the vessel, then he would die. But they will be looking for them in ten years, Jiraiya said but Tsunade relaxed a little but was equally worried about her son. But that's not all, Hiruzen, under the pressure of Danzo and the elders, did not tell who became Jinchiriki and when you return to Kanoha, then they decided that when Naruto turns four, they will start his coaching. During the conversation, fifteen minutes passed because of what Naruto fell asleep in Tsunade's arms, when evening came, they started going to bed, and after four hours Tsunade heard crying in Naruto's cravat, she came up and took it and said I think you're hungry and sat down on the bed, only she started taking off her clothes, Shizun comes into the room with her in her arms Naruto she said oh sorry you were sleeping, and Naru's diaper was dirty, I took it and changed it without waking you up. Then Tsunade looked at her hands and saw that she had a log on her hands, and looked towards the window and saw a Jiraiya crawling, she quickly took him and threw him out of the window with all her strength so he spilled five kilometers into the park where the love couple was sitting and next to him landed a Jiraiya that looked like a bunch. The next day, Jiraiya went for a walk in a place with a chair, passing by the girls, they came up and squeezed him, then Jiraiya realized that it was profitable to walk with a small one. And then Jiraiya suggested Tsunade to walk more often, they reluctantly agreed because she was afraid that he would corrupt her Naruchan, but she was a doctor, there was no money that Hiruzen sent through Katsuki Kvotalo, but she likes to lich and she and Shizun went to a farm three kilometers from the village and meanwhile Jiraiya was with Naruto on hands went to the hot springs, when they went to the springs, Jiraiya entered the women's part when he went in, he saw girls who were naked and intense, he immediately said oh, I'm sorry, I mixed up the part when they heard the man's voice they wanted to beat him up, but they saw Jiraiya with a cute little Naruto in her arms, they came up and began to cling to Jiraiya squeezing Naruto, he was over the moon with happiness from the forms he saw when Naruto put his fingers on his mouth, which made him even cuter that girls it touched so Jiraiya called a little toad that jumped on his shoulder when the little one saw the toad, he grabbed her and started squeezing that the girls were more skilled. But after Tsunade cured a family of farmers in a place with Shizun, they decided to go to the springs, but at the entrance they heard a man's laugh and the voices of the girls, they went on and they saw Jiraiya and Naruchan, Tsunade quickly approached Jiraiya and took Naruto, the girls oh sorry, it's time for the child to go home and they left. 
Jiraiya was visiting for another one month and left. Since that moment, three years have passed with the sources, and on the fourth year of Tsunade's birth, Naruto began coaching, they went out into the forest and Tsunade told him to sit in the lotus position and feel the chakra, after five minutes Naruto felt the chakra in his gut and began to disperse it unconsciously. Tsunade was very surprised when her son woke up the chakra in five minutes, so thirty minutes passed and after overclocking the chakra, Tsunade decided to do physical exercises and she said that he would run five laps, this is one kilometer, twenty laps, twenty squats, and twenty on the press and pull-ups. After all, she didn't want her Naruchan to overdo it, after two hours he finished, after which he walked up to the tree and leaned against it, very out of breath, Tsunade came up to him hugged and patted his head and said you're good. After half an hour, they went home where Shizun began to study with him the history of Kanoha, and theory, after which they began to train to throw senbons. After all the trainers, Naruto started to rest, then Tsunade came up to him and invited him to go to the city to eat ice cream, Nero was happy and they went. Walking down the street, Naruto saw the building and asked to go there, Tsunade saw where Nero-chan was pointing and realized that he was pointing at the casino, well, but it was Tsunade's weakness passing by slot machines and saw a manette and put it down, but Nero asked if I could, okay. And Naruto pulled the lever and all the cells scrolled and he won Tsunade did not believe it and offered to play with it again and so Naruto pulled the lever 30 times and still won, there was no limit to. Tsunade surprise, she invited him to play dice, she explained the rules and Nero-chan rolled the dice and an even number fell out and he won, so he played like that 40 times Tsunade hugged him and hugged him to her chest all those men who were there envied him. Shizun passed by after shopping from the store, she heard how the citizens crowded when she saw who she was there and approached, when Tsunade saw that Shizun was walking, she herself approached her. Shizun started to scold her sensei, when they were talking, they heard screams and turned around and saw and Tsunade said what you did, I put red on the five as you said, he put two suitcases that he won when the ball began to stop, then Tsunade and Shizun closed their eyes but they heard an exclamation of surprise, they opened their eyes, then they were surprised themselves because the ball stopped at 5 red. Then he won 850 million ri, when they started to leave the casino, they saw the crying casino owner. All the money that Nero won was pinched into a scroll and sent through Katsun to Naruto's account, Katsun appeared in front of Hiruzen with a scroll with a note when Hiruzen read it, he was surprised and how irresponsible it was to take him to the casino, he is visible, unlike Tsunade, he has luck in naughty games. This whole week was spent in such trainings, after which Tsunade began to teach him to walk on vertical surfaces, Nehru did it with three attempts, which surprised Tsunade very much, after which she said to try to walk on water, he did it with five attempts. Tsunade was glad that he got good chakra control from her, he studied theory and throwing metal with Shizun, and practice with Tsunade. In such training, one year has passed, they celebrated Naruto's birthday because he turned five years old, Shizun gave ten senbons, five kunai and shurikens, and Tsunade gave a new suit by dressing him Naruto looks like this, light spiky hair, a white t-shirt with a black jacket up t-shirts and black trousers with shinobi boots, and a body it was pumped up, but not much but already visible showing relief, etc. Naruto went to the backyard playing with Tone Tone after he left, Jiraiya came to them with the help of Shunshin and asked where his lover, Shizun, was, she said that he was in the backyard when he almost called Naruto, he saw how he was treating a sick tree and moreover it started to blossom, Jiraiya's jaw dropped to the ground he quickly ran into the house and shouted that why didn't you say that he had a Mokutan. Tsunade and Shizun were surprised as well as Jiraiya at his words, after which he told what he saw, they decided to make sure of it for sure Tsunade said, Shizun go and buy the chakra conducting leaves, after 10 minutes, Shizun came with 10 leaves and then Tsunade shouted to Naruchan, come up to her in response, Kachan and Naruto quickly came running and asked what they wanted when Naru saw Jiraiya, then Sanan said hello to Arrow and hugged him. 
Tsunade and Shizun laughed with this. After that Tsunade asked him to take the leaves and hold the chakra through them, when he did this, they were surprised he had three elements and one Kiki Genkai it was fire, earth, and water, and most importantly Mokutan. After all this, Jiraiya borrowed a package in brown paper with a white ribbon, he took this package and went to his room, when Jiraiya gave a gift, he also went because he had a meeting not far away, when a guy approached Jiraiya who had an envelope when Jiraiya checked the contents, he would be glad and lent him the same package as in Naruto. When the guy opened the bundle, he started shouting in the wake of the departing Jiraiya, this is not what we agreed on when Jiraiya saw that he had borrowed, he realized that he had confused and quickly ran, at this time Kachan Kachan read me this book, while Naruto sat down on Tsunade's knees, she began to read Tuj turned the pages and there were pictures on them when Naruto saw them, he asked, and what is it? And Tsunade instantly covered his eyes, and at that moment, Jiraiya flies in, but it was already too late from Tsunade there was a current thirst for murder that even Satan would get drunk and even with a sweet smile, she started shouting at Jiraiya, Shizun came to the noise, she didn't understand anything, but Tsunade started to transfer the book to her, when she read the title of the book, she looked at Jiraiya with contempt, Tsunade said to Neru go in a place with Shizun, take a walk. Just before the exit Naruto said, and you're coming with us, Jiraiya realized that this was his only chance to leave, he ran quickly, but he was stopped by Tsunade's hand, not you go, we'll go later, Naruto answered well, walking up to the house in the evening, they saw Tsunade eating ice cream on the bench, and next to her some kind of pile, coming closer, they realized that it was Jiraiya. Everyone went to bed and the next day Jiraiya started teaching Naruto Henge, Shunshin, and replacement, Naruto learned it all in three hours Jiraiya was surprised by the genealogy of this boy. To be continued? After Naruto studied Henge, replacement, and Shunshin, Jiraiya began to teach him natural techniques, he started with the element of fire, first he poked him a fireball, Naruto began to repeat, but he succeeded after an hour and a half from the 40th attempt, the time of coaching with Jiraiya is over because he has a training plan. Now he I have to study theory with Shizun and studying the structure of the body and finding organs. Then they started throwing metal at the mannequin at the most dangerous points. So his training with Shizun ended, and it was time to train with Tsunade there she taught him Ryan Jutsu, Naruto could already resurrect fish and treat a mortally wounded rabbit, and she did not forget about physical exercises after that day Naruto had only the strength to eat and shower after that he went to bed. In such trainings, one month passed, during this month Naruto learned the Kato technique, fireball, big fireball, phoenix flowers, and fire dragon, futon techniques, gust, air wall, and air bullets, and earth techniques, stone wall, stone fist, earth spike, and earth shelter, and a little Makuto's technique, tree clones entwining roots, and tree transformation, and in addition he studied shadow cloning. In addition, he was already throwing metal on an equal footing with Shizun and had already studied 25% of the theory, and with Tsunade he could already heal serious wounds, and physically he looks better already six cubes and muscles are already visible. All this time they stayed in the land of grass, and they went to one place before this place they walked for three days, when they arrived, Shizun was the first to enter the house where she had treated Tsunade before, when Shizun left the house she said, Tsunade-san is waiting for you there, waiting for you when Tsunade came in and Snee greeted Snee and I introduced myself, my name is Koji, how did you know that we would come? The priestess foresaw that you would come, and I myself went here to ask you for help because they constantly tried to kill the priestess, and one of their attempts succeeded, and now she is in a terrible state because she was poisoned, we are ready to pay 3 million ri for your help, well, I will help you but only on condition that our identity remains a secret, and the second thing is that no one will know that I have a son, I am sure that the mistress will agree and I will also keep it a secret. Okay then let's go. After talking with Koji, they got out, and reached the mansion in one day, but just before the entrance they were stopped by the guards, 
And they said who are you and why did you come, but Koji came out in front of them and said it. The poisons and her child from a neighboring village, after listening to them, they were missed when Koji brought them to the priestess's private room, they entered after which Tsunade under Henge ordered the medics to bring everything they needed when they had everything and then they left after everyone left, Tsunade and Shizun took off the Henge and began to examine her and Naruto asked if they could help. No Tsunade said because of what he was upset, Tsunade her she examined and began to. Remove the poison with the help of a green ball and slowly so they removed the poison for an hour, after which Tsunade began to learn the poison and after that she began to prepare an antidote, Koji suggested Naruto to get acquainted with the cute daughter of the priestess. Tsunade heard everything and gave the go-ahead, they went out and went to the room because there was good news and maybe a new friend, they came up and knocked, but all tearful she shouted get off me, he Koji said it was touching your mother, when Mila heard it, she quickly ran up and opened the door. Vapsham I was too lazy to write all this dialogue when he told everything and said that it was Naruto they met. The next day, Mila invited Naruto to play and he agreed because he had no friends because of constant moving, and she had no friends because she, like her mother, could see the future. When they went out into the backyard, Naruto saw that the whole yard was planted with flowers, so two hours passed, Tsunade came out to them and called them to eat, they ate in the priestess's house, they stayed for another four days. During these days, the priestess came to her senses and there was a joyful conversation with Mila and so on. On the fifth day, the priestess offered Naruto and Mila to go to the playground, they agreed and took off five guards and Koji with his friend Takomi, and when the priestess saw that Naruto had a one Hokage medallion on his neck, she asked where he got it from, he said he found it in the bathroom and started looking for mom, but he didn't find it anywhere, so he decided to keep it around his neck so as not to lose it. They went to the playground where they played for 30 minutes. At the same time, there were 10 people in the bushes, 4 of them at the level of Jonin and 6 at the level of Chunin, talking about how to kidnap a girl, so they talked for 1 hour, and waited for the moment when they were all distracted, they attacked after killing all the guards Koji was preparing for battle when a katana pierced him in the back, he turned around and I saw Takomi holding a katana. What is why, Koji said, how is it that money is all about them, the daimyo of a neighboring country pays 20 million, and two times more for a living. When the shinobi wanted to grab the girl, she was no longer there, they quickly rushed into the forest after them, Naruto held Mila's hand, they were already quite far away, they stayed in place because Misha was tired, Naruto came up with a plan, but Mila would not agree, he quickly went behind her and knocked her out and carefully put her in the bushes. He himself applied the henge and became cute at seeing Shinobi, he made a noise and ran, it was not interesting further until the moment when he was almost caught, Naruto took an explosion, quickly attached the seal to his leg and jumped away, it exploded but the explosion was not strong, the leg was not torn off, during this time of running, Naruto knocked out six Hunins, only four Jonins remained, but he there was already little strength left and a quick kick sent him into a tree, he did not pass. Out, Naruto opened his eyes a little and saw how Shinobi brings Kotana Naruto stood his hands and closed his eyes, a couple of seconds passed, nothing happened. He opened his eyes and saw that the man who did not kill him was suspended on a wooden stake and blood was falling from him on Naruto's face when everyone saw this they were shocked and at that moment Takomi came out with a cute EA shoulder Naruto quickly came to himself when he saw Mila, another shinobi you're a freak you killed Maku. I'll kill you, no wait said Takomi, that's why. Don't you understand that he owns a Mokutan like the first Okage, we will take him to the village with us and then we will have a whole clan that owns a Mokutan, Takomi took out a sword and wanted to injure Naruto so that he would not be amused, but Naruto folded a couple of seals and touched the ground and said Yupito Shevi roots and Takomi began to entangle the roots and for what he dropped the sword from his hands. And Naruto quickly ran, grabbed Mila and ran, but one of the Jonins threw. The net, which caused the children to fall, when the shinobi came up to knock out the children, 
they heard some sound, they turned around and saw a huge tree flying at them, which even they could not lift even for, they bowed and at the place where they were, there was a Tsunade. Flashback after the currents hit Kojo in the back, they left for the children, Kojo threw the pain in his back and leaned on his katana, he went towards the estate, the priestess was sitting in her room in the estate and she thought how Tsunade broke into her room, but where is he? He, Tsunade herself, you remember where you left him, told Shizun and apologized for breaking in like that, but not what, but what are you looking for, but Tsunade did not pay attention, and Shizun said that she was looking for her grandfather's medallion, and I know where he is, he is now on Naruto's neck, he found him in the bathroom and was looking for you to give it away, but he didn't find you and that's why he kept it. But at that moment a guard burst into the priestess's room and apologized for it and said that Koji came to the gate and said that they were attacked and that the children ran away into the forest when Tsunade heard it, she left a green light and Shizun ran out after her, the priestess ordered the guards to gather and leave, the end of the flashback. When Naruto saw her, he said Kachan Kachan, when the shinobi heard how the little one called her, their heart went into their heels because one of the three great sanins was the mother of the little one, they realized that they could not live and when she saw the robber on the wooden spike, she realized that they could not live, and immediately to her shizun arrived, she freed the children and left in a place with them, and Tsunade jumped on the first and with a kick broke all the ribs and a couple of organs of wounds incompatible with life into confusion, the second with a blow of her hand she printed into the ground, and the third she crushed with a huge stone, after that, she approached the currents and began torture with interrogation, after which she learned their goals and their employer. When Shizun and the children left, they arrived at the playground where it all started, Shizun started asking Naruto what happened there, but he was silent, then she decided to ask Mila and she told everything until Naruto knocked her out when she finished telling Tsunade came and she asked what happened there but Naruto was silent but with his back was hugged by Tsunade idol so Naruto told everything for a minute and in the end he cried. Tsunade was angry at those who attacked because of them her Naruchan killed a man, and she also cried because she could have lost him, Shizun and Mila also cried because of the burnt, and after the story, the priestess came, they told her everything, she sat on her knees and hugged Naruto, because if it wasn't for him, she could have lost her daughter. They stayed with the priestess for another week during this time, everyone helped Naruto, and Blagadoria to them, he was able to reconcile with what he did when it was time to leave, everyone came out to see them off, but it was most difficult for Naruto and Mila because during this time they became good friends and they became each other's first friend. Before parting Naruto gave Mila the bocho tree because of which Mila kissed Naruto on the cheek, because of that everyone smiled except Tsunade, she thought that she wanted to cling to her claws, Naruto blushed so they said goodbye all the way to a new place Shizun poked Naruto with that moment. Three years have passed since helping the priestess, there are three weeks left before entering the academy, Tsunade decided that they would return one week before admission. Now Naruto is training to use his mother's super strength, Flashback after they helped the priest, two months have passed Naruto liked how his mother was able to throw a huge tree so easily and he asked his mother to teach him, Tsunade did not even agree to the end of the flashback. Now Naruto is learning how to properly release the chakra on impact, he tried to break a huge stone in only 15 strokes he was able to break it so he trained all day, Naruto was very tired but Blagadoria the fact that he has a reserve of chakra like three strong jonin, he did not fall. So two weeks have passed and it's time to return to Konoha, Naruto now looks like Minato's hairstyle, but the hair is up to the shoulder blades, the eyes of his mother's facial features, he wears a white t-shirt on top of her red and black jacket and the coat of arms of the Senju clan is frozen on the back, and the same color pants and black shinobi boots. To the techniques that he knew were added such as, to the cartoon, the song of fire dragons, fire destruction, friar, a huge flame cannon, to the element of the earth mud stream, stone bullets, and stone wave, to the futon rasengan, raisin and to the mokutan protection hobi, tree dragon, 
the birth of a real forest. So they started to go to the Kanoha Gate where they were met by the Eternal Guards, with the return of Tsunade-san said Katetsu, everyone said hello and they went to the Hokage residence, when they knocked on the door they entered when they heard come in oh, you've already returned said Hiruzen yes said Tsunade. After all the conversations, they went to Minato's parents' house, there was a lot of dust and after three hours they cleaned everything, there was no food and so Shizun went to the store and bought groceries and after that she cooked dinner for them, after which they ate and went to bed, she gave Tsunade a rest all this week, now it's time to enter the academy, this week it was announced that Naruto was the son of Tsunade, after which everyone was excited and happy for Tsunade. Here they came to the academy and ten minutes later a third Hokage appeared who began to brainwash everyone with the will of fire. After Hiruzen finished, everyone was assigned to classes, Naruto was the last to enter the class under the gaze of the girls in love and sat down at the last desk near the window, and in his thoughts he said oh Kurama I need to spend four years in this kindergarten, Kurama laughed in his head and said well, there's nothing like a place for you, do you hear flee and blocked the connection. Flashback one year ago, before Naruto went to bed, he accidentally got into the subconscious, at first he did not understand where he got to, but in the distance he felt a powerful chakra half an hour later he reached the place where the source was when he came up from the cage, two huge red eyes poked around, and here's my jailer said Fox, Vopsham acquaintance they had as in many fanfiction the end of the flashback. After the teacher enters and appears, my name is Yumana Iraka, I love ramen, I don't like betrayal, the dream is to become a director of the academy, and the goal is to make worthy shinobi out of you, everyone introduced themselves by Kanon, and the last Naruto Senju, he slowly got up and went to the blackboard under the admiring glances of the girls, when he reached the blackboard he said me my name is Naruto Senju, I love my family and coaching with them, my dream is to become a good Rinan as a mother, the goal is to surpass my grandfather has Hiram Senju, I don't like when weak and arrogant people are offended. And he went to his place and all the girls gasped at the words of the blonde. Well, that's it, Irika said today was a chilling day and lessons will be tomorrow. After the academy, Naruto came home and Tsunade asked how things were going at the academy, and Naruto told everything and that he was interested in a couple of people Uchiha Sasuke, Shikamaru Nara, and Cheiji Akamichi, and that all the girls were looking at me, Tsunade didn't like it, but she didn't give a look, and in her thoughts here are small harpies already trying to hook your kakti in my narachan. After entering the academy, four years have passed, Naruto and Sasuke were the best students, but due to the fact that Naruto did not poke at everything he was capable of, so it was time for the genin exam, so everyone was sitting in the classroom and waiting for Irika, so ten minutes passed and the teacher came into the classroom, then everyone quieted down and parted to your seats. Everyone started listening, and Irika started talking and at the end wished everyone good luck and started handing out leaflets. Naruto finished all the tests faster, in fifteen minutes, and stall him. Because of this, everything was awesome and Irika sent to the backyard where he threw shurikens and kunai and all ten out of ten, after which Irika asked to make Elosuri clones and Henge, Naruto made shadow clones in the place of Elosuri ones and using Henge turned them into Tsunade, Jiraiya, Shizun, and some other people because of then they were still officially. And the girls began to admire him even more and after that he received a bandage with the sign of Kanoha and after that Irika said come. Tomorrow to Devedi Chesam for distribution, Naruto went home and told mom and Shizun everything, they were happy for him and hugged, after the story they noted it. The next day, Naruto came to the academy and began to wait for the teacher to come, after a while Irika came into the classroom and greeted everyone and began to say who would get into which team, the distribution of Kanon and Sakura began to rejoice because she got into the team with the handsome because of what the other girls envied her in black. After the distribution, they waited for Kakashi for three hours and during this time Sakura constantly whined that their sensei was not there and then Kakashi opened the door and said that everyone went to the roof and after five minutes everyone arrived on the roof and introduced themselves by Kanon, 
and Naruto, like the crime to the academy, and the protest also said. After everyone pretended, everyone went home where Naruto told, and Tsunade said that he likes to be late and about the test. The next day, Naruto ate and came to take it easy on Decidi's cheese, Sakura was indignant that Sensei was late and after half an hour Kakashi came and told about everything, after the story everyone quickly hid Naruto and Sasuke treated each other neutrally and told about this test and in place they came up with a plan after which the clones in a place with Naruto. They ran out of the forest and went to Kakashi in Taijutsu where they ran, but they were very strong that Kakashi put the book away and started fighting seriously because Naruto in Tai was at the level of an average jonin, so it lasted 15 minutes until Naruto folded the seals and said that the walls of mud and Kakashi were surrounded by three walls after that, Naruto and the clones threw shurikens, only Kakashi wanted to jump, he heard a fireball over his head, and a ball of 2 to 2 meters flew from the top. Kakashi used a replacement and there was a log in the place where Kakashi was, and he was in the bushes and looked at his students, but Vdruk next to Kakashi in the bushes began to rustle and a small fox cub came out of them and began to roll on the ground, attracting attention, Kakashi was interested in this and he began to play with him, after he took the bell and began to tease the fox cub and he began to beat the bell with his paws, lulling Kakashi's vigilance. The fox cub quickly snatched the bell out of his hands and after cutting the second one with his claws, he quickly ran into the depths of the forest. As soon as Kakashi wanted to rush after him, a fireball strengthened by a breakthrough flew into him, Kakashi had to duck as soon as he did it in the places where Naruto and Sasuke were standing there was smoke, and in the clearing, Naruto shouted for their sensei to come out and that they had bells. Flashback when discussing the plan, Naruto suggested that his clones would attack Kakashi and lure him to that point, after which he would use the technique and block three paths and I would launch shurikens into him, and you would fireball from above, after which he would use a replacement and end up in the bushes and I would put his vigilance to sleep under the form of a fox cub and take the bells. And your and my clones retreat will be the end of the flashback. Since Kakashi came out of the forest and congratulated them, after which Kakashi wanted to bring Sakura, but Naruto used shadow cloning on the ring and gave it to her and explained the purpose of this test, after listening to Kakashi congratulated them on passing and is waiting for tomorrow at the Hokage residence. So the whole team number 7, the next day came to the Hokage's residence, well, as always, Kakashi was late, they knocked for 30 minutes before entering and waited for an answer and entered for the mission, it was the capture of the daimyo's wife's cat. So for a month, team number 7 performed missions of the rank of D, but at that moment Naruto asked the old man to give them a mission of a higher rank and after his words the team nodded in agreement, Hiruzen asked Kakashi if they were ready or not, in response he saw a nod well then I will give you a mission to accompany the rank of Bai. The team I agreed and then he asked to enter the office of Tazuna and at that moment an old man staggered in and a bottle in his hands reeked of alcohol and he said and these brats will accompany me. Vopsham everything was according to Kanan until the moment they reached the puddle passing by her in the heads of Naruto and Kakashi, it flashed that there was no rain and it was a trap and Naruto threw Kunai into the puddle. The whole team did not understand why he did it and two bodies appeared from the puddle, these were two demon brothers, Kakashi praised him for his insight. Kakashi went up to the bodies and sealed them and began questioning Tazuna, everything was according to Kanan until he forgot. Naruto is not far from you, there is a person who is waiting for you, Kurama said, after the conversation he warned everyone. The fog began to envelop them and Kakashi said he was lying down and a sword flew over their heads that crashed into a tree and one of the mist swordsmen forgot Momochi, after which Kakashi came out in front of him and just they wanted to start a fight, they heard, hey, what are you doing here, said Gen Pachi Munashi and Amuri Ringo, and you're the devil they showed up, we paid 100 million ri for him for a little, it's clear, but why did you ask two of the swordsmen here, and a carpenter was. Hired to kill me, okay, let's help you take it off and at the same time we'll take Melkovo, in Miliash Kakashi, 
it's rubbish for me and it would be very difficult to kill one, and there are three of them here at once, there are no choices, you will have to detain them at the cost of your life so that the genins run away, and Kakashi said run, I will detain them, and you are sure that you can detain three at once, no, we will not leave you. Naruto and Sasuke said, Naruto said you take the bronze. I will take Amuri, and you Sasuke take Gen Pachi, and Naruto created six tree clones and sent two to each to help and left the battle to himself, and Naruto printed out a katana presented to Dr. Jirei, I started the fight with Kensiatsu Blagadoria Naruto clones fought on equal terms after five minutes of sword fighting. They started and used the techniques of Amuri folded seals and said the technique of the water dragon and the image of the dragon started from the water and flew to Naruto, he did not lag behind folded seals and released a fire dragon in response and quickly folded a couple more seals and released the gust that strengthened the dragon the two techniques collided but Blagadoria that Naruto's dragon was strengthened and absorbed her technique while it slowed down, what gave Sean Amuri to jump away but before she could, a wooden stake grew out of the place where she should, but she managed to defend herself with swords. But while she was defending herself, clones from the tree appeared behind Amuri and landed her ten kunai after which she fell but was still alive and the cardinal came up and pierced the heart from the side of the spena and she quickly she died and Naruto quickly sealed her swords, after which he went to help Sasuke, let's go back to the beginning of the Sasuke fight, he folded the seals and shouted a big fireball, and the clones folded the seals released a gust of sleep. The ball of Gen Pachi covered himself with a sword and a small fog was created, while the review was not interrupted for a long time, and the clones took advantage of this, they ran to the sides, swinging one struck from the top aiming at the neck, and the other from the bottom into the stomach and the flying shurikens in front of him when the first cut off his head and the other lived through his stomach and stuck shurikens after that. He turned into water and Sasuke's ass appeared Gen Patchi behind his back and got wet, but his blow was blocked by Naruto's katana before that, having imbued her with fire chakra, which was very nice and so that she would not break, but after hitting Gen Patchi, his the sword exploded and he jumped back but the katana cracked badly and Naruto threw it out, after that, under the pressure of the clones of the original and Sasuke, Gen Pachi managed to be caught in a wooden cage and after it they used the element of fire and burned him alive and the cage was strengthened by the air chakra, which increased the power of fire Naruto came up and sealed the sword of Gen Pachi and after that he ran to help Kakashi and Sasuke fell on one knee and started greedily gulping air, now Naruto had the remaining chakras like an average chunin, the fight of Kakashi and Lisa passed through Kanon. After that, Naruto picked up and threw Kakashi on his back and they all went to Tazuna's house, they reached in two hours after which Naruto put Kakashi on the bed in some room and the next day, and yes, during the time spent at the academy, his strength increased in Tai he is at the level of a strong jonin, in Ken at the level of weak jonin, in Fuin only Vi rank. Genziatsu does not own, he learned Katana, fiery great destruction and created Inferno Raisin Sarikin, Futon Air Cut and Tornado, Dotan, Earth Dome and Earth Burial, and a supply of Chakra like two captains of Umbu. So a week passed and now the whole team was on the bridge half an hour later the whole bridge was covered with fog and Zabuza and his assistant Haku appeared on the bridge Naruto and Sasuke took Haku and Kakashi Zabuza where Haku sharpened them into mirrors and started firing at them with senbons that stuck into a wooden dome and behind the mirrors roots began to appear and began to pierce the Haku mirrors after all the mirrors were broken and senbons that stuck Haku flew out of the dome and they flew in different directions and stuck into Haku in the legs and three in the arm, which slowed down him and Naruto quickly got behind his back and stabbed Kanai in the neck, which is why he died, and meanwhile Kakashi used Raikiri and pierced the lens, and after that, five minutes passed and a dwarf with a bunch of robbers appeared on the bridge and began to say that he had paid these unlucky ones in vain and that he would kill them all, after his words. 
Naruto folded the seals and said the birth of a real forest and everyone began to entangle with roots that began to crush them and after one minute all the robbers were dead everyone was shocked how a current boy can kill so calmly and a week later the bridge was completed and named after Naruto and after another two days, team number seven arrived in Konoha and reported everything to the Hokage. After that, Naruto went home and told Tsunade and Shizun what happened on the mission of Tsunade for the second time in his life, he did not have a heart attack and why Shizuna brought a sedative and took Tsunade to her room. After the carpenter's escort mission, half a year has passed, and this time there was a meeting of the Jonans at which the sensei put forward their teams for the exam, everyone put forward Kanan, and this time team number 7 which Kakashi asked to gather for half an hour and they have been waiting for him for an hour and a half. And after that he came and started saying that the exam was coming soon and gave they filled out the forms for them to go to it and gave them back and said that. Tomorrow at the academy in the 301 auditorium, after which the team went home, Naruto came home after which he was called to lunch, he went to the kitchen where Tsunade and Shizun were waiting for him, and after eating miso soup on the table, he said that tomorrow he had an exam, after the story Tsunade was glad and in her heart she was worried because it was very dangerous there. The next day, the team gathered at the entrance and went to the auditorium, but they saw that there was a crowd of Jenins near the entrance to the office who were not allowed by two guys, Naruto noticed that this was an illusion and told his team and they quickly quietly walked past the crowd and went to the third floor and entered the office and sat down in different places and after for 15 minutes, the whole crowd entered the audience and after that Ibiki came into the room and began to tell on Kanan, after which they began to distribute forms. Naruto looked at the questions for him it was easy, and coped with it in 15 minutes and sat, while others wrote on Kanan. After so 30 minutes, Ibiki got up and started telling me I was too lazy to describe it, but it was on Kanan, 66 participants remained in the office and a girl flew in through the window and introduced herself as Enka Maitarashi, and said where to gather and yes, I have 10 minutes to get there and disappeared in the haze, everyone quickly rushed there and threw for 10 minutes everyone was exhausted there. And Enko likes to look at the exhaustion of the little ones, since you are already all. Here, then you can start and Anka began to explain the rules and after explaining she asked to sign on the forms that Kanoha is not responsible for what Swami happens there, and I started and blew out the scrolls, our team got a scroll of heaven, and Anka told everyone to go to their entrances when the signal sounded, the gates opened and all the teams quickly ran. Our team ran along the upper tracks, after three hours, team number seven did not meet anyone, but suddenly a woman with a sound sign stood in their way, hello, she said with a slight hiss, our team was alerted and stood up, but a terrible key began to emanate from the woman, Sasuke and Sakura stood in a stupor and shook out of fear, but it didn't affect Naruto much, because when he made a mistake on coaching, a smaller key Blagadoria came from Tsunade to all his trainers, he almost stopped feeling her. That woman rushed at them, but she didn't expect that at least one of them would be able to move, after all, Naruto quickly folded the seals and a huge fireball flew at the girl, and because she did not expect it, she fell under this blow and barely ducked, but the skin melted from the heat and when she was offended by Naruto's gaze, she stopped as her skin thawed and in the place where there should be at least a burn there was pale skin with amber with an eye and a purple outline around the Eyes, Naruto immediately realized who was standing in front of him it was Orokimaru because he knew how he looked because of the description of Mom and Erosinin, oh, and your selenium Naruto-kun said Orokimaru, it's an honor to hear praise from one of the three great sanins Orokimaru, Naruto said, I see you are not only selenium but also smart for your age and threw off this mask. But Blagadoria to the fact that they were talking key that he was emitting was not and Sasuke through shurikens. Orokimaru reacted quickly and was already behind Sasuke and Sakura and with one blow and knocked them out, it's so that we don't get in the way, I want to see what you're capable of, and they came together in Tai Naruto was much inferior to Sanin's experience and lost, and that's why he created wooden clones, which surprised Orokimaru because Makoto's genome was only the first and he wanted to find out what else he could. 
and the situation leveled off thanks to the clones, but then Sanev decided to switch to techniques by folding the seals, he released stone bullets, Naruto bowed and launched phoenix flowers in response, in response, Orikimaru made a stone wall, they collided and there was nothing left of the wall, and Sanin quickly moved to Naruto and punched him with his hand, but it was a wooden clone who grabbed his hand and a cage made of wood appeared around Sanin and began to press him Orikimaru wanted to use seals. Do not advise using fire because the cage is impregnated with air chakra as I said, you are smart, Naruto started to fold the seals and released a fireball, but Orikimaru disintegrated into a thousand snakes and spread out and gathered after leaving the cage, Orikimaru took the Kasanagi sword out of his mouth, and Naruto opened the swords of Aimuri. And they converged in Kensiatsu where they were on an equal footing after which they jumped away from each other okay Naruto-kun it's time for me to tell Orikimaru, he suddenly Naruto heard a scream and turned around and saw that Sasuke bit Orikimaru in the neck after which he disappeared but before he left he left a scroll of earth, Naruto quickly he ran up and looked at his neck, a seal appeared, after which he created clones and picked up teammates, and after that he started looking for a place where he could rest, and after five hours he found a cave and used the illusion to enter, putting them on the ground and at that time Sakura woke up and saw a silhouette, she tensed up but heard a familiar voice, calm down and told her to take care of us after which he passed out so they stayed in this cave for three days during which everyone got up and went to the tower, they got there after which they had one day left, after that, everyone was gathered on Oren and Hiruzen said that he congratulated everyone who had passed this stage, and that the third stage would be in a month, after that everyone dispersed. Hiruzen was already aware of Orikimaru and was ready, and Naruto retold what happened to him, after which Tsunade scolded him for fighting with him, and it took a whole week to remove the seal to remove it, Sasuke felt better after removing it, and Jiraiya started training with a small one again. After the second stage, Naruto started training with Jiraiya again, at this training he wanted to teach him the technique of summoning, biting his thumb and broke the seals and knocked on the ground and smoke appeared and Jiraiya now stood on the toad's head and stood up his legendary pose but Naruto did not look and began to repeat after him when Jiraiya saw it. He wanted to but he didn't have time to stop and Naruto disappeared into the haze, Jiraiya was worried because he didn't tell that he needed to sign a contract, and also that Tsunade would fucking kill him and resurrect him to kill again, because Naruto went to a free draft where you can die. And Jiraiya quickly ran to Tsunade to tell him everything so that he got less, and meanwhile Naruto was in some forest and foxes quickly ran up to him and surrounded him and began to ask who, I'm Naruto Senju, Jinchuriki Kurama, what are you carrying said one of the foxes, and a red chakra began to flow through the seal that the silhouette of a fox with a girl's tails began to form, no, he's telling the truth, and ah Kurama-san. So this man is your Jinchuriki, yes, take us to the old woman. Yes, well, and they went after 15 minutes they reached the village where it was very beautiful, but everyone looked at him very surprised to see here not when there were no people and so they reached the house knocked and waited for an answer, after which they entered and introduced themselves and the elder offered to stay here for three years, which is not sorry but I need to be at home in a month. Don't be afraid for three years here in your world for three weeks, Naruto agreed and started training for. The first half of the year he studied Fox Tai, after which he started studying the Hermit Mode, he studied for one year and honed to the ideal, the consequences of this mode are fox ears and tails appear, the more tails the stronger he is, eyes like a fox and grow cockty, while not trying to hone his skills, so his mastery of Mokutan improved now he knew such techniques as a wooden dragon, a wooden golem, and a millennium of truth, a heavenly tree dragon, a relic of Buddha, how did he learn these? Techniques, Naruto flashback descend subconsciously, and what for Ku, it's good, so what did you want, turn around and who are you and what do you do in my subconscious, I'm Ashura Oatsutsuki, you're my reincarnation, I'm yours, and I came to help you, and how will you help me, I will give you the knowledge of how to use Makuto and his techniques and reduce spending on them, well, when we start training, don't come any closer. 
I don't have much time so I'll just pass on my knowledge and touched. Naruto's flask, after which his body trembled convulsively, well, that's all good luck it's time for you and me to go Ashura said the end of the flashback. So another half a year passed and it was time to return home, before the foxes left, he was presented with a katana with a black handle and a red blade, a black cloak with flames at the end and an inscription, Fox Sanin, after saying goodbye, he appeared on the field where he was and headed home, before Naruto returned, Jiraiya was beaten every day in Shizun I helped Tsunade with this, but the door opened and Naruto entered it, and Tsunade and Shizun ran up to him and hugged him because they could lose a very dear person to them, and after that Naruto told what happened to him and what kind of appeal, but kept silent about the conversation with Ashura, and that he opened the cage, yes, I forgot to write it in a flashback, they were happy for him and his genius was so far gone, and Jiraiya was also glad because his hell would stop and that he was not healthy. So one month passed, and now it was time for the third stage, everyone began to gather in the arena, both ordinary citizens and rich aristocrats came to see it, when everyone gathered, the third Hokage Hiruzen Saratobi began his balada, after he told the rules and wished good luck to all involved, he sat down to his seat, and next to him sat Kazakage Raza. In the middle of the arena, Gekko Sayaki appeared and said that all the participants went to the Bolkans and only those whose names would be on the screen would come out, when everyone left, the names of Naruto Senju and Niji Hyuga appeared on the screens, Naruto began to descend through the air, it surprised everyone how he walks through the air, and under discussion Naruto was already in the arena, and then Niji came, Gekko announced the beginning and disappeared through Shunshin, Naruto, and Niji quickly ran at each other, Niji wanted to block the points of the chakra, but Naruto parried and counterforged, after 10 minutes of beating the baby, they jumped away from each other, Naruto folded the seals and released the fire dragon, and Niji used circular rotation, the two techniques collided and neutralized each other and they raised dust, after which Naruto quickly folded the seals and roots appeared under Niji's feet that entwined Niji and began to suck out the chakra, when the dust settled, everyone saw how Niji was holding roots that did not allow him to move, and with a quick movement, he got behind Niji's back and knocked him out, after which Gekko announced Naruto's victory, after which he went to the balcony where the others were, let's see the rest of the Kanon fights. But when Gara started to turn into a bijou, Naruto used twining trees and Naruto went down and put his hand on his forehead, where there was a seal of suppression, after which Gara fell asleep, but feathers began to fall from the sky, it was Genjutsu and for which everyone fell asleep, except for the Jonans and Naruto. And then explosions thundered and Shinobi appeared in the arena sand and sound and attacked the Shinobi of the leaf, Naruto quickly dealt with the ten enemies, and where the Hokage was saddled, a barrier appeared, Naruto quickly got up and saw how the four held the barrier and how Hiruzen was fighting with Orokimaru and Umbu were sitting around the barrier, and during the battle with Orokimaru, there were fights in the village and a three-headed snake appeared behind the wall that destroyed the gate, but there was a big heat on her head and there was a Jiraiya on her head, and next to it was a SLZ that began to break up into small ones and began to treat the wounded. Meanwhile, in the arena, Naruto approached the barrier and used a tree that opened a passage into the interior and after Naruto entered the passage closed and ran to Hiruzen when he arrived, coffins appeared from the roof, but Hiruzen did not let the third coffin appear and Naruto appeared next to Hiruzen, which surprised Hiruzen and Orokimaru, but the coffin lids opened and the first and second Hokage were born. Naruto said that he would take over the past Kage and you don't worry, you don't. Know what I'm capable of, Hiruzen didn't even agree and wanted to know what he was capable of, and that's why he will deal with Orokimaru, Hashirama and Tobarama came out and a dialogue began between them, Hashirama why you created this technique, Tobarama I don't know. Grandpa what are you arguing there and both dead men turned around and saw what the boy was like, I don't want to describe it to me, and they asked who he was, I'm Naruto Senju, your grandson and son of Tsunade Senju but how is it that Tsunade has a son, class? Remember, 
we were resurrected by an unholy resurrection, and we are controlled, but we can talk and two attacked Naruto in Tai where Naruto lost badly, but Naruto Octaviraval the cover of Biju, the past Kage were surprised that he could use the power of Biju, but Naruto caught up with them, but Chuchiat was inferior, and then he decided to switch to techniques and released a fiery destruction into them. To which Tobarama made a huge water wall and two techniques collided and a huge fog turned. Out, Naruto released a gust and cleaned and launched a wooden dragon, which once again surprised the past Kage so their fight lasted another half hour and Naruto was already exhausted, but the past Kage began to glow and they began to say that I have a great talent and that I will become a strong shinobi and that they have a good grandson, and disappeared completely. Naruto decided to check what happened and quickly ran where Hiruzen and Orokimaru were fighting, he saw a lot of dead shinobi. Sound, and how Orokimaru's hands and dead body were taken away from Hiruzen. The next day was a morning day because so many people died and the third Hokage, an hour later the council decided that Tsunade would become the fifth Hokage, but she did not like this decision, but Naruto persuaded her mother after which she agreed, and a week later it was officially announced, and Naruto also told what happened there and how he fought against grandfathers and how Orokimaru has no hands anymore. A month has passed since the attack on Konoha, during this time they have already rebuilt the village, and when Tsunade became Hokage, she had a lot of work and for what she was angry at Neru because only because of him she agreed, meanwhile, Naruto was on the run and trained and now I will tell his characteristics, in Tai he is a strong Hunin, in Ken he is also a strong Hunin. In healing techniques he knows only 70% because when Tsunade became Hokage she had no time to learn further, with theory he learned everything that Shizun gave him, in throwing iron, he is stronger than Itachi, in Katun he now knows all the techniques of his village, Futon and Dotan 70% of the techniques of the village, Mokutan knows the techniques that Ashura gave him, his body was completely pumped up, and now in appearance, his hair was prickly in shoulder length and tied in a ponytail, brown eyes, features of the mother's face, in a white t-shirt and a green and black jacket and in the same pants and Shinobi sandals. After the attack, the San Shinobi found out that under the face of their Kage was Orokimaru, and they had to make peace on Kanoha's terms and pay them compensation. According to Kanon, six Orokimaru came for Sasuke, but they saw that Sasuke did not have a seal, which surprised them, only they wanted to grab Sasuke, Naruto prevented them, the four had to run away quickly because according to Orokimaru, he was able to fight with the last two Kages of this village. For all the time they spent in the same team they became very close friends and Sasuke's revenge subsided because he decided to honestly get strength and strictly from the moment they started. Coaching in place, and Jiraiya joined them, who brought Sasuke his call while Jiraiya was teaching Sasuke, Naruto was walking in a place with Ino, they had mutual feelings for each other, Tsunade and Shizun found out about it and after that they started to tease him and were about the wedding and grandchildren and why Naruto went red. And on Ino's birthday, Naruto gave her a rare flower that could be bought in soon and then he hardly bought it, but how did he get there, but everything is just a tree clone, and for the gift Ino kissed Naruto on the lips after which they both turned red, they were thirteen and a half years old, and on he stayed the night at Eno's where they slept in the same bed the next day they woke up in each other's arms in their underwear. Because of embarrassment they turned away and quickly dressed, after. Which they went down to the first floor where Eno's parents were and had breakfast, when they saw who Eno came down with, they grinned and invited them to the table while wishing them good morning, they were asked during the meal when there will be a wedding, which is why Naruto choked on air, and Eno blushed, come on, calm down, we were joking, so they had breakfast and Naruto went home before he kissed Ino on the lips and said goodbye to her parents. When he came home, he immediately got hit. On the head by Tsunade, after which Naruto told that he was at Ina's birthday party and stayed the night, Shizun was glad as well as Tsunade, but in her thoughts she had ah, this little beast had already managed to hook into her Naruchan Kakti, it is necessary to go with her be careful and the conversation went on and Jiraiya was listening behind the wall. 
after which he came out and patted his companion on the back and said, and you didn't waste time and laughed because he now had more. Opportunities for fun like Shizun. Three years have passed since the attack on Kanoha, during this time Naruto and Sasuke have become even stronger, and an organization named Akatsuki has started collecting biju. Now Naruto and Ino are walking, they have already confessed their love to each other, and at this time two people in raincoats approached the village of sand, red clouds were frozen on them, these people were Sukuri Daidara and Sasori Red Sands, their dialogue was on Kanan as well as the fight with Gara. after the invasion the village of sand sent a letter to Kanoha for help, a day has passed since sending the letter. In the morning, the sun began to rise over Kanoha, the guards, like the Dazer ones, were in their places, but suddenly they saw an eagle flying to the place where they receive letters, meanwhile Tsunade just got up and after a few minutes Shizun got up, they instilled themselves in order by taking water treatments after they went down to the first floor and went into the kitchen where they cooked breakfast for three, after eating. Tsunade wrote a note that the food was in the kitchen and wished them a good day, and so they went to the Hokage residence. Naruto got up, did everything he needed, went down and saw the note that he read, went to the kitchen after eating, he went for a task because after the exam he and others became chunins, these were Sasuke, Naruto, Shikamaru, Tamari, and Kankuro. In the residence, Tsunade sorted out the papers, but suddenly the postman poured into the office, and said sorry Hokage, she herself sent you an urgent message from the sand, their Kazakage was kidnapped, which, come on, said Tsunade here, after she read Naruto came into the office, he saw his mother's worried face, asked what happened mom, Tsunade, Kazakage was kidnapped that someone told Naruto to Garu, yes, Tsunade answered him, let me go to his rescue, I can handle it alone, no, he was, kidnapped by two renegades of the ES class, I will give you this task, but Kakashi, Sasuke will go, Sakura, and Guy's team told Tsunade, half an hour later the above listed ones arrived, after which they received the details of the mission, and after they gathered at the main gate 20 minutes before taking their belongings, they decided to move by the upper ways so they got to the village two days later. They were sent to the guards who asked who they were and their purpose of the visit, they replied that they were help from Kanoha, they were missed and team number 7 went to the hospital where they learned that the last one who saw them was Kankuro, but that he was still chasing Zanimi was sent, after which Naruto and Sakura began to examine Kankuro, everything was according to the canon, only they made the antidote faster and bigger, so Pakun came running and told where their shelter was, after which team number 7 was assembled, but they also took off, they got to the place in 8. Hours and seven minutes later Guy's team arrived, it was on Kanan he went to the place 1010 seal I tore off Naruto, and I started a fight with others, the fight was on Kanan, at first Naruto and his clone met in a tie where they were equal, but Naruto decided to use the fox tie, but it was without success, tagged a Naruto moved to Kensiatsu, which his clone also did, after 30 minutes, Naruto began to run out of breath, because it was somehow difficult to fight against himself and the clone does not get tired, Naruto decided to throw a smoke under himself and created a shadow clone in it, which he sent to collect his chakra to the ten clone was not noticed by Naruto, he sent a great fireball into the enemy clone, but the clone used a wall of mud, so they exchanged techniques and another twenty minutes, but the enemy clone created a huge wooden golem that was entwined with a wooden dragon. The clone who collected the Sun Chakra divorced and Naruto had fox ears and six fox tails when the golem swung Naruto quickly got around him and broke his arm with one blow, after which a wooden dragon flew to Naruto, Naruto used fire destruction and the dragon turned into ashes and a divine tree dragon flew into the golem, who entwined him and crushed him while devouring the clone for this fight Naruto had to spend 60% of the reserves from his chakra. Meanwhile the teams penetrated into the shelter where they saw two people who were Daidara and Sasori, Daidara sat on the corpse of Gara while arguing which art is better, after which, according to Kanan Daidara, the snail on whose bird they tried to catch Sasuke and Kakashi, and Sasori fought 
Sakura and Chio they had a fight on Kanan where Chio was not mortally wounded by Sasori, and Sasuke and Kakashi so could not catch Daidaru, but Kakashi tore off his hand with the help of Kamui, while Daidara was distracted by them, a wooden dragon flew at him, which ate him and knocked down the bird with a blow of its tail, after that. Naruto saw that Gara was visible from the beak and quickly ran up and took it out, but he did not blow the symbols of life, but in the dragon that was Daidara exploded and began to fall when Daidara fell, Naruto was immediately attacked and, subsequently, Naruto cut off his second hand, to which Daidara replied by eating clay. He began inflated when Naruto noticed that he was concentrating a lot of chakra in one place, he used the protection of Hobi, after which an explosion thundered, but the protection survived. Then the others came and decided to give their lives in exchange for Gara's life, according to Kanan they said goodbye, Kakashi Gai and Lee ran to Kanoha, but Naruto on the last forces created a wooden dragon on which Sakura, Ten Ten, Niji, and Naruto flew. They got on the dragon in one day when they were despised Naruto fell from chakra exhaustion but his friends managed to catch him who took him to the hospital, and then they reported to Hokage when Tsunade heard, she. And Shizun ran to the hospital worried about Naruto, when they examined him, they calmed down, and half a day later Kakashi was added to him so they stayed in the hospital for a whole week. A month has passed since the rescue of Gara. during this time, with the help of Naruto, Sasuke was able to awaken Manjiko Sharingan, he and Jiraiya played a scene where Jiraiya pierced Naruto on Sasuke's glosses on their coaching, because of this, he awakened a new stage, because during this time Naruto became Sasuke's best friend, after that Jiraiya and Naruto we ran from Sasuke all over the village for two whole days, after which Sasuke calmed down, and began to train in the power of the eyes. One day, Jiraiya went to a meeting with a man who brought information about Itachi, but Naruto and Sasuke were watching Jiraiya when they heard about Itachi, and at that moment Sasuke again began to awaken hatred when Naruto saw this, knocked him out with a quick blow to the neck, after which he caught him carrying Sasuke to his house where he laid on the bed and stayed the night, the next day, Naruto calmed Sasuke down, after which Naruto told about everything that the informant reported and about Itachi's location, after which Sasuke wanted to go after Itachi, but Naruto stopped him, saying that he would not let him go at the same time and that he would not allow him to fall into darkness, they thought about a plan after collecting everything they needed, they decided to go to night, with the onset of night, they went to the place where Itachi was, Naruto and Sasuke got there in three days. Then they saw an old castle with the sign of the Uchiha clan, they began to be serious, with full caution they entered and they opened the door, they saw a large hall with columns and at the end in the middle Itachi was sitting on the throne. So you came Sasuke Itachi said, but suddenly he saw that Naruto was standing next to him, then he immediately tensed up, Itachi got up and talked on Kanan, then he decided to join the tie where he was losing specifically when Naruto got fucked in the back, and Sasuke in front they both pierced him with their swords, after which Itachi fell on his back and Naruto and Sasuke bled over him, but suddenly Itachi poked at Kanan, they turned around and saw that Itachi sitting on the throne as if he did not move, they realized that they had hit Genziatsu, then Naruto quickly moved behind Itachi's back and wanted to strike a horizontal blow, but Itachi dodged by folding the seals released a hail of fire dragons, which caused Naruto and Sasuke to be covered with a wooden dome, which caused the right part of the hall to be destroyed, suddenly a duo jumped out of the dome, folding the seals, shouted Sasuke a great fireball and Naruto Futon Tornado because of the merger turned out to be a huge fire tornado, Itachi did not have time to dodge and I used Susano and in front of Naruto and Sasuke was a red warrior without a lower body in one hand was Tatsuki's sword, and in the other I sewed something, in response to this Naruto used Kurama's avatar, in your head, what are you doing, you have never entered the avatar, this is a big load on your body, Kurama said, don't be afraid, Naruto said everything in a bunch. Itachi priophagal from this and had to use the fourth stage of Susanoo only. Blogadoria Shirtu, 
Itachi was able to hold out for 10 minutes because they were still trying to Otakov techniques, and Naruto created a bomb the tailed one was pushed into Itachi, and the shield I could barely stand after which they both removed their modes and knelt down, Itachi began to blur in his eyes and began to stagger and blood began to flow from the ort, Naruto noticed this and said do not delay Sasuke finish him off. Sasuke heard it and ran at Itachi with a sword in his hands, but... Itachi heard it and barely dodged but did not expect a sharp lunge and pierced Itachi's heart because of what Sasuke did on Kanon before his death, Sasuke involuntarily shed tears and Naruto came up to him with his hand on his shoulder and began to comfort so they stood five minutes after that, Naruto tore out Itachi's eyes and put them in a jar with food and sealed them in a scroll, before falling from exhaustion of the chakra, said touch him and I'll tell you about the eyes as we return to. Kanoha, Sasuke caught Naruto with him on his back ran to Kanoha and when he reached the gate there was Tsunade with Umbu who already wanted to escape, but saw Sasuke with Naruto on his back, Tsunade quickly ran up to inspect their Umbu order to take them to the hospital, when it was executed Sasuke also fell down so they were unconscious in the beds for two weeks after which they woke up. During this time Tsunade was worried about Naruto in a place with Shizun, when they woke up, a doctor came to them, then asked the Hokage to come, and 15 minutes later Tsunade and Shizun flew to the floor after a long lecture that lasted for two hours, then they asked ere they went, Naruto told everything from the very beginning to the end without missing a detail, Tsunade again began to tell them off, and said that they would be very severely punished, after which Naruto asked Itachi Sasuke to transplant his eyes, Tsunade did it and Sasuke was blindfolded for two days, after which Naruto told everything. Two weeks have passed since the murder of Itachi, since they left for Taikoria Tsunade came up with a punishment for them, they had to clean out all Konoha in one day, Naruto could not use any clones, they poked like cursed all day, and by the end of the day, they were very exhausted and barely crawled to their homes after the punishment, they spent two more days on the bed after which Sasuke began to train the strength of the eyes. And Naruto studied Fuinjutsu, he was already B rank, after. Which he came to their training, Jiraiya came and offered Sasuke to go to Mount Mayabuku, Sasuke agreed and they went to the place with Jiraiya, and Naruto as there was nothing to do, he went to the foxes, and at the same moment, because of the fox in the interior of Naruto, Pain and Conan attacked the village, but behind the village Nagato called the draft animals that broke into Kanoha and began to destroy everything around. And six paths of pain followed the animals, the fight in Kanoha with pain was on Kanan, before the appearance of three people and three huge toads appeared in the crater on which Jiraiya and Sasuke stood, and a fox with a girl's tails appeared next to the toads, and meanwhile one of pain's bodies was flying on Tsunade, I'm sorry I forgot what are the names of the bodies, but I think that you will be able to understand where which body is by abilities, and by Kanan Naruto destroyed this body. And Sasuke appeared next to him and he has the eyes of Naruto in Kanan in hermit mode. And Naruto saw the pins in the body, and he pulled out one of them, after which he cut his hand with it, after which he felt where the real body was, while Sasuke was fighting with other bodies, Naruto ran up to Jiraiya and told him where the real body was, but saw how Sasuke was captured, Naruto created a raisin Sarikin and launched in pain, but the one who sucked the chakra out of Sasuke saw it and then pain himself turned around and used Shinra Tensei and sent the technique back to Naruto. Naruto didn't have anything left and he blew up the technique between them so that no one was hurt and blocked each other's view and Naruto created a wooden clone and himself went underground, when the technique developed, the body that Sasuke was holding sank underground while losing his head, Nagato felt his teacher approaching them and sent pain at the same time, he left two bodies that could be mechanized, and in which he calls animals. Sasuke used Amaterasu and burned these two bodies. After which Naruto and Sasuke went for the real body, but meanwhile Jiraiya got to the shelter, and I went into the gut and started talking to the students after 15 minutes of talking, Naruto and Sasuke came when they entered, they saw a red-haired guy, skinny, and the black pins of the blog odor were stuck in his back, 
which he was using with his bodies. Together they persuaded Nagato that they could achieve peace without coercion, and as for Kanan, he resurrected everyone after which he died and Conan abandoned his body, while leaving this paper bouquet, after that Jiraiya, Naruto, and Sasuke returned back where they were met by residents and ran up to Pablogor at them. After the attack of pain, Kanoha began octave restoration and with this they were helped by Naruto and other shinobi who owned the element of the earth, before they decided to clean up the garbage, but suddenly the cloud shinobi came to the village with a scroll in which there was an invitation to a meeting of five kage in the land of iron. They were accepted by the eternal guards Izumi and Kotetsu, they took the scroll and understood to the Hokage, but found out that Tsunade was in the hospital and would not be able to go to him, before Izumi and Kotetsu took the scroll, Umbu Root saw it and went to Danzo's office, they appeared in smoke and sat down on one knee high Danzo herself said Kano and Kanoto, what happened said Danzo, Umbu. Just arrived in the village shinobi clouds with an invitation to a meeting of five kage and they were met by the guards, well now we go out said Danzo, hi Danzo herself and disappeared. And to Izum and Kotetsu, Danzo came up with his umbu, when they saw that an old woman came up to them, they immediately greeted, so this is what Danzo said to you, and this is an invitation to a meeting of five kage said to Kotetsu, give it to me said Danzo. Kotetsu handed the scroll and they left, the scroll said the place and when he will be in three days. Danzo ordered his umbu to get ready and be ready in an hour. An hour later, there was a Danzo with thirty umbu near the village gate and they got out. Naruto and Sasuke saw it and thought what happened and where he went, they moved over and went to Jiraiya, they told what happened, Jiraiya thought after which he said that they would go to Izum and Kotetsu and ask when they came. He asked them and they said that the cloud shinobi came with a message to the meeting of the five kage. So the evening came, Sasuke and Naruto were walking in the park and talking about different topics, but a guy with a spiral mask and a raincoat with red fragments began to climb out of the ground in front of them, Naruto and Sasuke stood in a rack, but then he spoke, I'm Toby, I came to tell you about the top of this village, and I told Sasuke everything about Kanan so you make a decision and disappear into the funnel. After Sasuke found out about it, he was angry and wanted to kill them, but Naruto put his hand on Sasuke's shoulder and said don't make hasty decisions and that he can always rely on him. After that, Naruto suggested to him that Jiraiya knew everything, Sasuke refused, but Naruto was able to convince him, so they reached Jiraiya and told him everything and that they wanted to kill Danzo but Naruto also began to lay out his plan so that they would not be made Nukunins. They would go to a meeting and kill Danzo, and Jiraiya would take mom's umbu and find the shelter of the root and they will cut everyone and find evidence, do you agree asked Naruto, it's too risky but it's worth a try, well then we're moving out. And after half an hour Naruto and Sasuke went for Danzo, after three days, I greet the rest of the Kage who came, but where Tsunade said hey, Tsunade can't come now, she's busy in the village, and I'm replacing her. Okay, enough about this, why did you gather us, said Chuchikage, hey, I gathered you to discuss Akatsuki, they are too dangerous and that they have already collected seven Devedi Biju, and that they attacked my brother not long ago and did not take him away, and what should we do because they can use to destroy us, as well as according to Kanon. Toby cut the umbu of the root, and in the room where the kage was. The door was knocked out and a blonde and a brunette entered through it, it was Naruto. And Sasuke, Naruto, Danzo Shimura you are sentenced to death, they are for betraying the village and the communion of the Uchi clan and many other things that you have done, yes, what do you think of yourself, brat, yes, what do you allow yourself to say hey in Aonoki, in May's thoughts, wow, what beauties I lit with them. But in a friend in the middle of the room, a guy in a mask appeared, it was Toby, as in Kanon and the declaration of war, so Danzo accept your fate, Umbu Root rushed at the duo, but suddenly their heads fell off their shoulders, everyone who saw it in their thoughts did not have what speed I did not even see, Danzo tensed, but I heard oh, you scum, after the Uchi were killed, you took their eyes and you also used my grandfather's cells. You will die in agony. 
but Danzo used Shunshin and Okozal. On some bridge, Sasuke go after him, I'll be fine, and Sasuke Okozal near Danzo, meanwhile, Naruto created a clone in order to explain and to find out what they would do, and Naruto appeared next to Sasuke. Between Danzo and the duo, fights broke out first in Tai where Naruto and Sasuke beat Danzo like a baby, and Naruto took out his sword and cut off his hand with Sharingonomi with one blow, Danzo screamed but Sasuke grabbed him by the throat and hit the bridge with all his strength, because of which he spat blood, Naruto's hand sealed and healed the wound, stop Sasuke don't kill so quickly use Genjutsu and torture him there and break his mind. So Sasuke did as Itachi did with Kakashi, after. Which Danzo passed out due to combat shock, but Naruto cured him and Danzo came to his senses and they began to stick him with a sword, they carried him so sixty times after which he was healthy, and took Shursue's eye and sealed it. Meanwhile Jiraiya and Umbu were cutting the root and now they have already found a lot of evidence and at this time Tsunade came to herself and told her everything Shizun is about how the village was saved and the fact that Naruto and Sasuke disappeared again after. Danzo was killed, Naruto's clone dissipated and passed on the knowledge, they went home and arrived a day and a half later, and during the course of them, Jiraiya was waiting for them and told what he could dig up and in response they told him what they had done. Then they see that Tsunade came up to them and hit everyone because of what they passed out, in the evening they came to their senses, they went down to the bottom where Tsunade and Shizun were and they told everything what they were doing, and the next day they executed the old men, and Naruto and Sasuke declared heroes of the village. A month has passed since the declaration of war, all the villages have united into an alliance and now 30,000 shinobi are standing in front of the headquarters, among the shinobi of different countries were talking to each other, and now the showdown began and the matter did not come to a fight, but were stopped by a loud voice, it was Kazakage Garawel, a dog, he told on Kanan. After then everyone got up in spirit and vocalized joy and confidence, the first squad was commanded by Derui, the second squad was commanded by Kitsuchi, the third squad was commanded by Kakashi, and the fourth by Gara himself. Meanwhile, Tobi jumped on the branches and landed and a man with pale skin stood in front of him, and with four horns, and a white snake came out from under the cloak, who did you say Tobi? I am Yakushi Kabuta, I can help you and coffins came out of the ground and the lids opened and the dead Akatsuki were there, and their conversation I walked along the Kanon. Here all the detachments have started offensives, fucking guys, I'm so lazy to describe all these fights that I'll squander them before they resurrected Madara. Here in front of Gara's squad, two personalities appeared on a huge pillar of stone, the first guy with a completely pear-benton torso and head and pants, and next to him was a man in a black turtleneck and black pants and on top of it was a red armor it was Madara, Madara and this is the shinobi Zalance, a pitiful sight after which he jumped off the cliff and landed neatly. The whole squad was scared because there was a shinobi god in front of them, but two people appeared in front of the squad it was Naruto and Sasuke, Gara, what are you doing here he said that we can stop him, Madara grinned and you two brats are not even standing next to me, you're just a dead man who was resurrected, Naruto said, after which he entered full-tailed mode, and Sasuke turned on the VMSH, and they rushed Madara, Madara octaved Sharingan and began to fight them in Tai where he lost strongly. Then Madara turned on the VMSH, but he was equally inferior to them, Naruto quickly got behind his back and kicked Madara into the rock from which he jumped, and a column of dust rose and from which Madara came out and his eye changed turned purple and diverged from the center like waves, it was Rinnegan, then Madara called Meteorite, which horrified the others, but Naruto entered Kurama's avatar and stopped him, then Madara said what will you do with the second, Naruto created a tailed bomb and destroyed two meteorites, and Madara entered full Susano. Then Sasuke jumped to Naruto and gave his strength to Susano and now the fox began to cover purple armor, and a sword was formed in his hand, they swung for a blow, Madara caught the sword, but Naruto and Sasuke's blow broke Madara's sword and cut Susano in half, and they themselves scattered their avatars, 
and Naruto quickly got around Madara who he recovered and folded the seals. After which he attached a seal to it and Madara began to get stuck, damn, I lost a strong pawn, Kabuta said, after. Which Naruto and Sasuke found Tobi, they killed him and with the help of a censor, they found a black zetsu and sealed it. That's how the war ended, five years later Naruto and Ino got married, they had a daughter Aim and, etc.